Hi, I'm Paul Jun, and for today's Hippo Short, we're going to cover a visual mnemonic going over the unstable cervical spine fractures. Jefferson bit off a hangman's thumb. Take a look at this image. Jefferson's fracture is a C1 burst fracture, and you can see Thomas Jefferson with an axial compression injury. B is for bilateral facet dislocation, which involves a flexion distraction, sometimes rotatory mechanism that leads to bilateral dislocation of the interarticulating facets. O is for odontoid fracture, type 2 and type 3 classically. And you see this old man because the demographic tends to be older people with simple falls or young people with high velocity trauma. A is for atlanto-occipital or atlanto-axial dislocation. As the name suggests, it does not generally have a good outcome in the setting of acute trauma. H is for hangman's fracture or a C2 bilateral pedicle fracture. Historically, it was associated with judicial hangings. But now, in modern times, it's more associated with hyperextension injuries through high-velocity trauma. T is for teardrop fracture. They come in two flavors, extension and flexion teardrop. And flexion is more severe as it's associated with disruption of the posterior longitudinal ligament. And that wraps it up for this hippo short on unstable cervical spine fractures. If you want more information, specifically x-rays and examples of each of these fractures, head on over to hippoeducation.com. My name is Paul Jun, and I'll see you next time.